Hi guys, John here, Mr. Forex Fire. Now, this is the weekly vlog, as I always do. Uh, this week, again, we're going back to the normal routine of the Friday. Uh, it is the 18th of June, and it is approximately, at the moment, 6 p.m. Now, it's England versus Scotland later on tonight, so I will be watching that match in the Euro 2020s. However, tonight, we are going to give you an update on how my journey has been, where we've came from uh, from the the beginning of of June, okay, where we were disastrous start to be fair, and uh, more so where we are right now and how the challenge stands, and not only that, steer on to the very end of this video because there is a, a few things that I need you guys that are my audience that are watching me right now with my journey there's a few things i'm going to be going over on how i can get you to sort of come on board with me uh, for free and become part of that close-knit community okay to get your confidence uh, your consistency and your profitability together from there i'll talk about some other stuff and then even more powerful there's there's some more on at the end of that as well okay so again i just like to have uh the audience around me i just like to have everyone come together and sort of learn from each other's experience pitfalls and the knowledge that each one has from from what they have experienced throughout their journey of forex okay so tonight's topic for the four for the forex five weekly blog is based upon uh like structure and consistency okay when i started my we we basically missed the the live the live challenge we missed out on it by uh invalidating the account last month of around about the drawdown the daily drawdown went below 25 uh dollars more than what it should have done that uh, was my fault i didn't uh sort of calculate the risk management properly but all was not lost. The guys at Fun and Talent, who I, who I have this account with, uh, I had a chat with the guys there, and we got on to another challenge uh, through uh, the kite and the kindness of them. So from there, we started the week off. And again, that was from the 3rd of June. And in all honesty, uh, again, stupid mistake. It's something that I've learned from as well. I used my effects book to do the calculation of risk to reward on the pips. I used the mobile. I, had, I was using the mobile app at the time. I set the trade at the very first start of this month with regards to the trade. And I thought I had it down as 1%. Uh, you normally have the risk percentage and risk per money. There was something I did with the pip size to the percentage. I didn't have it set correct. I set the trade up and bang, what had happened was it basically knocked 4% of my first trade that went wrong, 4% of the account gone. Now, if you'd watched some of the videos from last week and the week before, uh, I was really down in the dumps with that. It was stupid, it's stupid thing that, I, that I'd done. And I thought that I loved the challenge. And again, with me documenting things like this, you are seeing me raw, uh, bringing this to you every week on how everything is going. And boy, it was a challenge, okay? Going on last week, I was able to bring the account from the depths, from the depths of despair, clinging onto the cliff edge with the fingernails there. And just by one fingernail, to be fair, and I was wondering, am I going to be able to turn this around? But being able to have the structure, what I done was I was looking at my trading chair and I have two live accounts, as, as I told you last week. We have the, the live challenge, which is what I'm involved with, which is what I do my weekly vlog on. But I also have the bi-weekly uh, bonus one where I get... Uh, an X amount or a percentage of the profits from that account. Now, over the last month to two months, maybe three months, 
I'd been trading both accounts, made a few mistakes because I thought I was trading one and not the other and setting the account of one and not on the other. I've quickly come to learn over the last few weeks that I needed to bottle my talent bonus one up, bottle it up, package it, put it over to here to one side, okay? Now, how has that helped me with concentrating on the one entity? Now, massively, massively has this helped me because going from the first week, we're into around about two or the third week, I should say. The first week we tripped up, we made a big bollocks. We made a big bollocks of uh, a balls up of setting that trade wrong. And it went the other way. It was the lot size to the pips and things like that. 4% lost, smack, smack right across the backside of that. From there, it was around about 4% down. I had very minimal amount of movement on a loss to equity sort of thing before the account was void. Me be me, I like to document everything. There's a no bullshit approach. I was thriving for that challenge going into last week. I was able to bring that account back from being around over a thousand and whatever down we brought it back to a break even going into this week, okay? So we made that mistake. We brought it back from the bowels and the belly of the devil by dragging it back to life into this week with regards to uh, a break even aspect. And I'm gonna show you the charts and the concept of it at the moment. But if I share the screen and show you where we are right this second, and again, guys, Stay until the end of this because there's a few things I want to go over and a few things I want to talk about that may interest you at the moment. Just go to share. And this is where we are right now. Okay. So I'm just going to make my handsome face that little bit bigger. Bosch, as simple as that. Now, this is, let's move this down to here. You'll see this here. We are on physically now 2.4% only have to hit 8%. Hit 8% in the parameter of a 30-day process. As soon as I hit 8%, I could go and hit 8% tomorrow. Likelihood is I would, but if I did, I could then contact Fund and Talent, say, look, guys, I've hit 8%. Can I go into my second stage verification? They will fast track and put you straight into the, into the verification phase. So there's no waiting around and things like that, like FTMO. Uh, from there, guys, this is where we are, okay? This was the beginning part. And what happened was, you can see from here, from the equity, we were straight down, okay? Straight down on here. Let's just see if I can go down. You can see there. I You start off with 25K. I was instantly bang down to 23,600. So around about 1,400, just below 1,500 and summit. Uh, or oh, 1,490 odd, I do believe, was a loss, okay? Massive, that was massive. Again, trading for four years, keeping the mindset, keeping the structure, keeping the consistency that I know I can get, I decided that I, I want, I, I, this is what I thrive on. I like to thrive on a challenge. I sort of, in my trading experience i saw when the chips are down and things are against me it gets the better it gets the best out of me i don't know why uh, it just i sort of get a rush of blood whenever i see the, the money go up go, go, go up it's when i see things lose and that's when i saw of anyway come on john let's get ourselves together let's let's just take a step back let's look at the trade plan Let's tick these boxes, properly go back to basics. And this is what I did very much so for this. And you can see the exponential growth on this account right here, okay? Now, this was fantastic. It went up, it went up, and it went up. And we are sitting at around about 2,000, uh, 25,605 or so. I currently have a trade running risk, total risk-free, uh, and it's just closed out, to be fair. So I've, I've gained a few more pips on that as well. So that's my trading done for this week. I won't be trading tomorrow. I have learned from trading on a Friday. So at this moment in time, we are currently, uh, this will be this this will be refreshed a bit later. We may be on around about 2.5%, okay? So this is the maximum daily drawdown. This is where I've been on the lowest. 
this is the uh, the maximum uh, allowed daily draw, and that's where I, I was. Okay, uh, this is Spears one. I've got until the third of July. I've got till the third of July to get to the eight percent. Uh, that is basically uh, one week, two more weeks to get up to eight percent. Now, bearing in mind, yes, I've got to get another 5% on this, okay? Bearing in mind, if you look at this on the flip side of the coin, okay, I need to get another 5.5 another, uh, or 5.6%, yes, okay? However, this account was just over 4% down, okay? Now, I'll see that again. This account was just over 4% down last the, the other week, okay? We have turned it around and gained, okay, another like 4% down up to the, the break even. And then it, so we've gained a 6.4% growth from being in the depths of possibly getting another voided challenge, okay? Now, that is absolutely phenomenal. It's, it's a good turnaround. And I, I'm very, very pleased with the outcome on how I've turned this around. And it just shows you... That's the strategy that I use uh, and the implementation that I do. If I cut out these stupid, stupid mistakes, okay? If I cut out, if I cut out these stupid mistakes, then I should, and I, no, no, not in fact, not, not I should, I will get the funded accounts. Now, going back on my goals, my main aim was to get funded with the smaller account of 25K, uh, before the end of August, and then uh, I was going to be doing like obviously things with work and becoming a bit more uh, more of a part time full time trader as such without working at my full time job. And then my main aim was by Christmas have that bigger account of hundred k and be able to do this fully from home. Okay, now those that have been watching throughout this and um, watching my journey, I just want to sort of reiterate on <clears throat> the platform that I'm using at the moment in the community. Yes, we have got my community, which has got around about 287 people, I think I've got now, where it's full of like-minded people that's coming along, that is just getting involved with trading right now. If you want access to that, you just need to comment below, reach out to me, private message me, private message me, go in the description of this YouTube video and just request access to the Forex Fire Discord community, okay? Again, I like to link arms, hold hands, and get everybody working together, helping each other, come part of the team, come and join in with the weekly, the, the weekly homework sessions that we do, okay? Again, it is cost-free. Once we get you confident, okay, because I work on three parameters. I work on confidence, consistency, and then profitability, okay? Now, out of them three, and I'm just going to make this bigger, we'll get you confident. That involves having one-on-ones with myself, having chats with the moderators, getting involved with the, the naked charts, getting involved on the homework stuff, and that will gain your confidence. You will start, I can guarantee you, after a few weeks of being part of the community that I've got, after a few weeks, you will start seeing the confidence level go up. You'll be able to look at the, the naked chart structurally and realize and identify certain areas of the market, okay? From there, we work upon consistency. This is where the repetitiveness comes into trading. You start doing the homework sessions, okay? Apply yourself each and every day and each and every week to what we fundamentally give into the group, okay? If you ever get stuck, there is more than enough knowledge, more than enough experience, because after all, this isn't just about what I do and what I can give into the group. This has been a community that I built together for everybody as a whole team from an educational aspect to help each other and spur each other along. You get your consistency through that, okay? So there's your confidence, your consistency. Now, we spoke about profitability. When we start seeing the profitability on a demo, because we always trade on demo, we are part of a bigger concept, okay? Part of a bigger team. Now, there's two parts to this. You can then come in 
ask either myself or one of the moderators what we do as a team and then become part of the live session trading that is part of the bigger picture, the EFX sort of thing. We have a lot of things in that other Discord group, the stuff, the stuff in there that I don't actually have inside of my own. It gets you and progresses you to the next level, okay? Now, not only does it progress you to the next level, there's another aspect to this platform that we are with. It is absolutely brilliant that the team at AFX, the support is absolutely fantastic. It's the best around, and I've been part of a few different platforms, okay? From there, we they have uh, twice a week or sometimes three times a week, they have the live sessions where you can watch the, a seven-figure, multi-figure trader trade right in front of your eyes. He takes q and as while he's trading. Every, uh, what's the word? Uh, I forget the uh, Every time we have uh, uh, the first Friday of every month, I forget what the word is for that. It's the certain news. Uh, it'll come to me eventually. Every time we have that event every, every month, okay, the first Friday of the month, he live trades in front of you and shows you what he looks for, okay? And from there, guys, again, this uh, homework section, there's top traders, uh, there's moderators, everybody's in there to help as well. And now we have just introduced what we call EFXU, okay? It's EFX University. From the ground up, okay, you come in at the entry level, come and join what we are doing at Forex Fire, okay? Let us help you build your confidence, your consistency, and then <clears throat> your profitability from there i'll have a one-on-one -on -one chat with you get on a zoom call like i'm like i'm doing here with a video if you if you do want to be in front of the camera we can get on a chat on messenger more than happy to do that or even a phone call from there i will then take you in and show you what we can do to get you from what we have here structurally on forex fire to the efx and i'm just going to show you uh, a couple of things on here as well just a peek your interest there. Let's just take a look. So this is inside of the EFX results area. Okay, this, and again, I'm just gonna, I've gotta have my hand, handsome face bigger. There we are. Right, so what we've got here, uh, we've got JD82. He's uh, been looking at uh, a part of a trade. He hit a 50 to one risk and reward of one to 50, <clears throat> excuse me. Pull the trigger from a higher time frame on the 15 minute. And then he goes into depths. People are being asking him questions and he goes right into depths on here on exactly how he took the trade. Uh, from there, we've got another guy going through the FTMO. Obviously, it went into negative and we don't hide nothing here. There's no bullshit. Brought it back into play. Absolutely fantastic. From there, there's another there's another draw out with regards to a chart. You can see on here uh, again to come down to come into play, and it's I don't know what that risk to reward is. It looks a pretty good risk to reward. It's not on there, but yeah, it's it's yeah he hasn't got the risk to reward. It looks like a one to ten or so on there. To be fair, from here we've got a before and after. So this is a, a risk to reward of one to five point zero three. Uh, again, very clear. There's your trend line. We're waiting for the scoop down into a banker's candle, okay? And then taking us up to the higher TP area. That was the before. This was the after. Played out to the pip. Fantastic call out there. Uh, from here, the same guy. We've got another one here. Risk of reward of one to five. We've got equal highs, equal lows. We've had a break of structure one, break of structure two. Waiting for the player to come back in on the money zone, as I would call it. And from there, played out beautifully. Straight down, there's another one to five. So there's a 10% growth just for this guy here. Uh, from here, again, you can see an A without me making it bigger. Come up for a pip entry and then straight back in. And then early bird catches the worm. Uh, being very quiet in the group, but have been here since the start. And it's just past his FTMO challenge on Tuesday. So absolutely fantastic. People are passing their challenges with EFX. Congratulations, great job. Uh, a few more, uh, someone's been doing a trial. 
okay, with what they've been learning through AFX. And again, you can see a little bit. And again, we don't hide nothing. A little bit of drawdown. I see a little bit of drawdown, quite a bit of drawdown, but then it's shot off to the moon and it's actually past everything. You can see on here, past all the green ticks. And that is going from the Forex buyer, learning with, with what I do structurally, making you homework from the free aspect, bringing you into this group. This is a bit more of a paid membership. Very cheap, to be fair. It's as little as $99 a month, okay? And you can get access to all of this with the mentor chart, the, the mentor charts. Uh, again, I'm on here as one of the traders as well, the top traders. We've got Sharon and Luke Weston. We've got the funded traders section as well. We have our recordings where everything is recorded and archived. Mentor charts where we can, we can all put charts in here. Uh, I normally put the other one or two in here. Again, cheat sheets, everything, what we're looking for, uh, boiled down into PDFs. And this is all fantastic, guys. And this is an extra from, from what you get from learning from what I do on here as for expire, okay? From there, I spoke about the EFX. We are now starting to do an EFX university. So you're getting a more intimate one-on-one -on -one approach towards your trading. Now, what is that targeted towards, okay? It's not targeted towards the guys that are sort of just new and coming into the ground up from what I give, okay? You've got, you've got access to this anytime you wish. Start from the ground up. Take it easy. Come into when you see the consistency, the, your confidence and profitability. Come into the AFX on the $99 a month. Let us teach you a bit more. Come on the live sessions with us, okay? Once you start seeing that growth happening really good and rapidly, and you're wanting to go for the funded account status, okay? This is where the AFX University comes into play we can structurally help you and show you how to treat everything as a business, okay? So again, it's, it's, it's everything from the taxes and things like that. We can show you how to treat the trading as a proper fully-fledged business, okay? So that's just the outlook for this week on the Forex Fire, okay? Absolutely fantastic uh, end of the week from the depths of despair to now gradually growing that account and getting it up to the 2.4%. Touching wood, this is going to be the turnaround point. Again, I just want to say a, a massive thank you to everybody that watches the stuff that I do. Uh, I do know there's an audience out there that watches stuff that I, that I put together. And again, I do appreciate each and every one of you. If you can comment below, let me know um, how you are finding this month's challenge with me. It's a bit of a roller coaster for me, a bit of a mixed emotions. But from there, there'll be loads of links uh, as expected inside of the YouTube video at the bottom of this. Okay, you can access any of those links, come on board with me, get to know more about what I do. Okay, I'm not going to be here today, gone tomorrow. I've been doing this for four years, I've gradually been learned throughout those four years. I've spent a lot of time on the charts and, and putting the effort in. I know at the end, towards the end of this year, I'm going to be doing this full time. There's no doubt about it. There's no doubt about it. And when I do get to that process and that entity, this is what will be my focus then. Not only will I be a full time trader, but there'll be so much more of my time, so much more of my effort being pumped into the stuff that I do here. Like I say, I do a lot of homework sessions for the guys on here. There'll be even more going into this, maybe even my own proper fully-fledged website and uh, other things on there as well. So again, guys, that's it for Forex Fire this week. Please comment, please like, please engage, please share, please let me know how you are finding the content that I'm doing. If there's anything that you want to get on a chat about, you can find me anywhere on the internet, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. Okay, guys? See you all later. See you later. Bye.